Thank you, David. So this is our topic. Um, so let's, let's move on here. So, uh, so as you know, the treatment for hepatocellular cancer, there's a spectrum from, and this is at least one way to look at it from kind of, although our, uh, Dr. Brown may question that perhaps even some of these approaches, intra-arterial approaches, may be curative for HCC in selected cases, but one can thinks about these strategies as curative and then palliative approaches. And typically, the curative strategies are reserved for early stage HCC. Today, we're going to talk about locally advanced, whatever that means. If you look at strategies for management of HCC, as I mentioned, typically transplantation, early stage cancer within the Milan criteria with bad liver function, if you will. Good liver function in early stage, resection is typically the strategy, although one could argue local ablative approaches may be. And then certainly with metastatic disease, that's a different, a different question. The locally unresectable, again, this is when they're not resectable, then we start thinking of interarterial approaches in selected cases. So really, what, what are we talking about here with these, with this debate is really somewhat difficult to frame because this is presumably resectable patients if, if in fact surgery is even on the table. If you look at the NCCN guidelines, again, it isn't divided as a controversy between locally advanced surgery or, in, or inter, in, in, interarterial approaches. If something is, quote, potentially resectable, good liver function, resection is the preferred therapy. And the local regional approaches are, in fact, category 2B, less preferred, if you will, than resection. So one could argue I've already won the debate, if you will, in a resectable patient, good liver function, surgery is the treatment of choice. If you look at, quote, unresectable, by well, however one defines that, transplant is an option, and if they're not transplant candidates, then the local regional approaches are preferred. And similarly, an inoperable patient, again, not a candidate for surgery, then that's the default to a, quote, palliative, non-curative approach. What are the outcomes for liver resection? You, I don't need to go over them, but certainly we're, our morbid, mortality is improving significantly, so even in a variety of series now, even major hepatectomies, even in, in child A cirrhotic patients, the, typically the ones we operate on, mortality rates in the range of 1% to 4%, typically. And if you look at the outcomes for hepatic surgery, again, these are all comers, all series of liver resection, Arguably, most of these are early stage, different than what the, this debate, but we're seeing five-year survival rates that are in the range of 50 to 70 percent. So if a patient is operable, resectable, then in general, that's generally the preferred approach. Liver transplantation I won't talk about, but in selected cases, even with patients who potentially may even be locally advanced, liver transplantation in the patient with cirrhosis. If you look at the Milan criteria, the UNO, UNOS criteria, single lesion less than five centimeter, arguably early stage, but even up to three lesions, multifocal disease, one, that would be a, a potential definition for locally advanced, if you will, and yet even transplantation is a, is a uh, potential candidate. But you can see no vascular invasion, no regional, or nodal, or metastatic disease. So again, the definition of locally advanced here, I think, is perhaps problematic. The BCLC staging system, this is just an outline of stage zero, so early stage disease, typically transplantation or resection is recommended. Advanced disease, you can see here, but if you look at the stage a through C, if, again, it's a little bit ill-defined as to what locally advanced means. So you can see that uh, in, in a case of, 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 if all of these are locally advanced, then certainly there's a subset where, where transplantation may play a role. You can see multi-nodular with good performance status. The recommendation is regional therapy, portal vein involvement, node positive, and so forth, and systemic chemotherapy. So again, a lot of it relies a little bit on the definition. When you look at the stages of the BCLC, early stage is defined as this way, intermediate, large, and multinodular. Advanced is really presence of gross vascular invasion or extrapatic disease. So I would say, first, to just frame the debate, and this is really the issue, I think we should take the debate as, a, as an oncologically locally advanced. So I would define the, the debate as this. Resectable patients from a regard to liver function, child A patient, 
the disease is anatomically resectable, good performance status, and outside the Milan criteria, because transplant may be an option. And we can define locally advanced. I think large size, I think, is off the table. A resectable patient with a large tumor, while one can consider that locally advanced, I think that the, arg the data is pretty clear that those patients, if resectable, should be resected. But here's really where the controversy is, and I think this is really a patient who's resectable, good liver function, but multifocal disease. Even as a surgeon, I'm relatively oncologically unenthusiastic about considering this approach. Certainly major vascular invasion and nodal involvement, I think these are all areas in which I would argue are even controversial, even if resectable, whether to offer surgery in this area. And the debate is really, I think, can be framed in this, with this definition. What about data on liver resection from multiple, multiple HCC, multifocal HCC? This is probably the largest retrospective cohort comparison from Taiwan. You can see they compared, again, retrospectively, about 300 resections, 367 tastes, to best supportive therapy in patients with multifocal liver-only disease. Again, this is not a randomized study published in 2009 comparing taste to supportive care to resection, suggesting both in stage two and in stage three of more, even more locally advanced, more multiple nodules, but for in both cases, that resection appears superior to chemoembolization to, to uh, best supportive therapy suggesting at least in non-randomized data that multifocal, locally advanced disease, resection, if resectable, is the preferred choice. And this, in fact, we do have randomized data. This is a study out of, uh, you can see, uh, published here out of uh, China, randomized trial, liver resection versus taste in multiple HCC beyond Milan criteria. This is, in fact, in fact the debate that we framed. And you could see this is the trial. Patients were randomized. 90 patients in each arm randomized to liver resection or chemoembolization. You could see a few uh, dropped out. But with regard to the intention to treat analysis, this is the overall curve between liver resection, chemoembolization, multifocal HCC, one criteria for locally advanced. You could see even in those with two, only two versus three or more, and you can see the greater the, the oncologic risk, if you will, the worse, the, the, the less the difference between the two groups. But overall, it's at least suggesting liver resection is preferred in a patient with multifocal HCC. Now, again, part of it is the definition of how one defines multifocal, and this is part of the problem. I even told you that transplant is even recommended in patients with multifocal disease. Arguably there, you want the best oncologic outcome. And it may vary. Satellitosis may be different than the true multi, multiple clone, a field defect in a patient with cirrhosis. Those patients may do quite well versus a true intrahepatic metastatic disease when one perhaps would argue that a partial hepatectomy certainly it would have a less of a benefit compared to other approaches. So it's difficult often to, dif to see in the literature the difference between these biologic subsets of multifocal disease. And at least we can all agree that probably the difference in local therapy may vary depending on the biology of the, of the multifocal disease, which can confound the ability to answer this question. What about portal vein, major portal vein involvement, gross on scan? We know if there's microscopic vascular invasion, then those patients do more poorly, not candidates for transplant, poor progno poorer prognosis, but typically, of course, after the resection, we, we often will have patients with microscopic vascular invasion. But when there's gross vascular invasion on a scan, is that a contraindication to local therapy? There is certainly even more controversial than multifocal disease. You can see this is a, st one, a study here, retrospective study looking at portal vein. This looked at both portal and hepatic venous involvement. You can see while even patients with main portal trunk involvement, first branch, second branch, that these patients still perhaps enjoy a somewhat improved survival with resection. Uh, it's not uh, that, that compared to no portal vein involvement that these patients certainly do worse. Saying that, it's a little, this, the conclusions of this study was in fact that even with mo main portal trunk involvement that liver resection is, should be offered in these patients. I think looking at these data, one can certainly look both ways as to whether 
that is in fact the right thing to do. So I, I would con admit, if you will, that at least for major vascular involvement, it's what, certainly quite controversial whether to offer sur initial surgical therapy. And, and another study of major vein involvement, a retrospect, large retrospective study from Japan comparing venous involvement, portal, hepatic, and venocaval involvement. You can see these are the curves, both overall and re recurrence-free survival. Portal vein, in, major portal vein involvement, major hepatic venous involvement, and venocaval involvement. This study suggested low mortality. These patients can be safely resected. They had a, quote, acceptable long-term outcome and worse outcome with, eight, with IVC involvement, but this study also concluded that liver resection should be recommended at least in patients with, uh, with major portal or hepatic venous involvement. Again, no, no good comparators to really say compared to intraarterial therapy, but at least a suggestion that it's not an absolute contraindication to surgical therapy for this group of patients. What about nodal involvement? I think here I would certainly concede that probably patients with evidence of gross, gross nodal involvement at the time of preoperative imaging probably is a, contra, a contraindication to surgical therapy in these patients, although it's still controversial if at the time of liver resection one samples the hilar nodes whether in fact those patients should, whether we should still proceed with surgical therapy. We often may do that, but certainly patients with hilar nodal involvement at stage a subset of stage four patients, typically in this setting of locally advanced, I think I would concede that, in, at least based on preoperative imaging, that surgical therapy should not be the treatment of choice initially. So just to conclude, I would say that in potentially resectable but locally advanced, should we, what is the debate here? Regional therapy versus liver resection. I think the real answer, although is not, is not that, but it's probably this is the approach. So I would, I think that even though I'm kind of conceding perhaps somewhat the debate, I think the approach should be start with a regional approach, define the biology, and often these patients may be candidates for liver resection following this approach. It defines the biology, improves patient selection, and in some cases may improve the resectability of these patients. So I think that's generally the recommendation, but I certainly think there's a role for liver resection in patients with locally advanced disease. Here's one study looking at chemoradiation therapy prior to surgery and as a conversion strategy, and so I think this is certainly an approach to offer these patients. Thank you very much. Thanks.